Hello, good day. This is Jenny. Jenny was the and I'm going to present the module 5 lesson 2, which is the theories and principles in the use and design of technology driven. So let's start. So let's start with introduction first. So how teachers integrate technology in the teaching and learning process depends very much on their beliefs and how people learn. So the intended learning outcomes are to familiarize oneself with TPAC and SAMR model as frameworks in integrating technology in the practice of teaching, selected and employed and appropriate technology tool or application in an instructional plan. Evaluated one's capability in integrating technology in his lessons and lastly identified learning theories and principles applied in the design and development of lessons through appropriate media and technologies for teaching learning. So let's start with um, TPAC as a framework for technology driven teaching and learning. So as we prepare or as you prepare to be a teacher, how do you assess your content knowledge of your specialization? So in terms of your teaching skills, what strategies of teaching or techniques do you know will work if you use it when you teach? So if you will consider using a technological tool when teaching, what would it be? So actually, there are a lot of models and there are a lot of um, examples that we can apply in teaching or ways how to teach the students. So one of these is the Schulman's pedagogical content knowledge, which, which is the PCK. So it is a framework which involves the teacher's competence in delivering the concepts being taught by simplifying complex ones if needed or leading the students to study a concept more deeply and extensively. So this is made possible due to the teacher's understanding of the amount and the content structure of knowledge. So let me introduce you what is TPAC, what, what, is, what is this all about? So TPAC is a framework that combines the teachers in three knowledge areas. First is the technological knowledge, second content knowledge, and pedagogical knowledge. So when you say that uh, the technological and pedagogical and content knowledge known as TPAC is a theoretical model describing the capability of the 21st century teacher. So this is made possible due to the teacher's understanding of the amount and the content structure of knowledge. So next is CK, which means also as content knowledge. It is the what understanding of the content such as language arts math science history among others so this is composed of facts concept theories or principles in a given discipline pedagogical knowledge which in other words pk is the how so it is the expert's knowledge in the science of teaching from educational and learning theories to individual um, references to strategies and teaching from educational and learning theories to individual differences to strategies and techniques, as well as assessment of learning the teachers need to possess the ability to handle learning through effective method and appropriate strategies. So that is what CK is all about or the content knowledge. So then next is the intersection of the pedagogical and content areas of knowledge 
is the piece he gave. So this is how much competencies the teachers have in making the students learn concepts and skills. This includes the knowledge of how to use techniques that can meaningfully address different learning styles while supporting content with deeper understanding through my class eight consider this teaching at its best. So when technology is used in a specific subject area, to enrich this and deepen students understanding of content, this is the intersection called TCKR, Technological Content Knowledge. So for example, um, to deepen students understanding of a concept or area of study, students can gather information and collect data and evidence using technology tools and present this information using application. So this is the model of TPAC. So here we can see the technological pedagogical content, the TPAC, the TCK, which is the technological content knowledge, the technological knowledge TK, the CK, PK, and TPK. So we also have the SAMR model. So to define what SAMR model is, it is a model designed to help educators infuse technology into teaching and learning. So it developed, it was developed by Dr. Ruben Pentadura, the model supports and enables teaching to design, develop, and infuse digital learning experiences that utilize technology. So the first meaning and uh, the meaning of SAMR, the S stands for substitution. When you say substitution, it is literally using technology as an alternate for the regular item that is employed in augmenting or assisting instruction. So instead of using a map or a globe in teaching geography, um, teachers can use Google Map or Google Earth instead. So showing a location in the map can be substituted by the use of Google Map or Google Earth. So nowadays, there are a lot of ways where technology we can use rather than doing the old style of this teaching or showing the students what a map is or how can we locate a place we can directly <coughs> use the Google map. So next is the augmentation. So what do we mean by augmentation? It is the part of technology integration. There is a functional improvement in the use of a technology tool. So with a Google map, you can use the, the features available such as measuring the distance from one point to another. So you can provide a task by making students utilize this, like for example, start from, um, I, example, you can ask the students to measure the distance and get the estimated time of travel. If they start from one point to go to the next point, with this use of the Google Map, you tap. Uh, you just have to tap in the certain place, and the application will provide the distance. And also, the instruction with technology integrated is enhanced. So next is the modification. In this level. Um, Technology is used to redesign the lesson. So when studying geography, for example, Google applications have panora, panoram view. Using this, you can guide students to start uploading their own pictures of places they may have visited online. So a brief description of these places can also be added. If internet connectivity is <clears throat> available in the classroom, they can do the task after class. So with 
with clear and proper instructions, students can be guided and work on the assignment given to them. So next for the SAMR is the R, which means represents the idea of creating something um, it is creating something from the regular item this is redefinition technology allows the creation of a new concept that has not uh, been previously conceptualized when the do ideas I label this as the transformation of learning students are given the opportunity to create an output um, based on what they know and learn using a technology tool or application. So with the script for guided um, to using his available material, or example pictures and also using Google Earth and start arranging this to be shared through the world wide web. So if would be it would be a good idea before the students start posting or publishing their work online. So as a teacher, you can review it just to sure to be shared. So this is the model of the SAMR, so where the redefinition, modification, um, augmentation, substitution. Um, so the last model is the Bloom's Digital Taxonomy. So, uh, it was Benjamin Bloom who developed this Bloom's Digital Taxonomy. He is a known educationist who provided the cognitive taxonomy which has greatly been used in education. His students, Anderson and Crosswall, made some revisions. So, this is the picture of the original and the revise that was made. So, higher order th thinking skills evaluation, synthesis, analysis, application, comprehension, and knowledge. So for the revise, it is creating, evaluating, analyzing, applying, understanding, remembering, lower order thinking skills. So these models, we all know they are very helpful to the teachers because it it would be one of the guides, one of the ways to help the teachers improve the way they teach the students. And it is also one of the ways to help the students to learn fast in, in every subject or in every discussion. So, yeah, we could use either of these models. And most, uh, I believe that most of the, uh, the most common model is the Bloom's um, taxonomy. So, as a teacher, what um, all I can say is we really have to um, help the students and give them the easier way to um, help them understand and be cleared of the subject or the discussions. So, that will be all. I hope you enjoy this video. Have a great day.